Africa is endowed with a great variety of mineral resources ranging from platinum, gold, diamonds, chromite, manganese to vanadium reserves. Research estimates show that the continent has approximately 30% of the Earth's remaining mineral resources and produces about 17% of the world's uranium. These estimates could be underestimated due to the limited geological mapping of the continent. However, over the years, African governments have struggled through regimes of mining policies and legal reforms without much success in achieving economic benefits for the continent and its people. The only tool to help citizens exercise their right to participate in any development projects that affect them is the right to give or withhold consent to any extractive industry projects. Communities have a right to withhold their consent even before commencement of any mining project. And consent is not just the most important thing. The most important is how that consent is obtained. The African Union Heads of State adopted the African Mining Vision in February 2009 as a vision for transforming Africa's mining sector. This was based on the realization that African countries, decades after the end of colonialism, continue to export most minerals in their raw form, and this undermines the sector's potential to fundamentally transform local economies and contribute to sustainable development. The African Mining Vision talks about a transparent, equitable and optimal exploitation of mineral resources to underpin broad-based sustainable growth and socio-economic development. The African Mining Vision calls on all the African Union member states to transform mineral governance by ensuring that mining and related legislation address the loopholes that prevent Africa from benefiting from its rich mineral endowment. It further directs African countries to take collective action and coordinate efforts to improve mining sector governance and performance and explicitly envisages a central role to the private sector and civil society in shifting the trajectory of mining towards shared benefit. So the African mining vision, the first goal, it's like our, their first thing that they're insisting is the transparency. Transparency across the miners, across the, uh, the, uh, the, the value chain, across everybody. And uh, what it entails in the transparency? It starts when um, the, the minerals have been discovered somewhere. It requires for the people to be to be educated, to be capacitated of the things that they should be aware of. Say, these people they need to know the impact, if it's positive or negative, now and the years after after the minerals has been finished from their, their community. The sector still faces major challenges including lack of or limited transparency and accountability, governance and public participation, the environmental, economic, social and health impacts of its operation, its failure to add value and its failure to provide benefits relating to research, development and technological information. Communities in mining areas face many difficulties from land grabbing to pollution to extraction of resources that ordinarily belong to these communities to being employed without being paid. Many of them work without contracts among many challenges. In short, in many communities where we work, companies or investors bring poverty and take away wealth. <laughs>
Oluto ya soka ngatuta oluto ya soka. Ah twagobwa. Mukugobwa oko. Ayinye twali tujja mwaka sente. Ah ne bajja ne babizika. Abasirika ne bajja ne batukuba kiboko. Bibi tubisura one tukolachi. Etuvayo. With support from the Open Society Initiative for Eastern Africa and Natural Resources Alliance of Kenya, Africa Freedom of Information Center in collaboration with Kick Corruption Out of Uganda, World Voices Uganda, and the Tanzanian based Haki Madini are implementing a project aimed at popularizing the African Mining Vision and the East Africa Community Mining Bill 2017 among the mining communities in Uganda. We were everywhere. We didn't know anything called laws. We didn't, we didn't, have, we didn't know anything called uh, policies. We didn't know anything called frameworks. We were just mining the way we could be used. We used to use rudimentary uh, practices. We, you know, there was a lot. We didn't, we didn't mind about the uh, environment practices, we, pollution of air, pollution of water. Africa Freedom of Information Center has embarked on sensitizing artisanal gold miners on issues regarding their rights and further giving them an opportunity to express their concerns. Chirunji nyo mtu wakumanya right sizo kusinzira kumkola jetulimu yoku yukulebi yobu gabi ya biyomu taka. Kumangi nkola uliji tupade tuimiri demu yukusime yobu gabi ya biyomu taka. Banji tepamanyi right sizo hawe kubiyobu gabi ya biyomu taka. Kimba desimanyi kyo mtu edie teke edimu lagida. Eni mula gilo kubanti ya kiliza wa ndo kozi sorubudo. Kwa mbele bandeo, uleza nukuka nuku ita mutakari. So nga ate chile ya mabiga witakari, chamo gaso nyeri ya bantu as a community. Batu yambe kubuchiba chisobosi. Batu teke muna akasintu. Obu tabu batu chusi. Batu kuku ili mwini batu tegeo buruji. Tugenga tu ina akatabu kafe. Ojo kunimba, ojo kukunzi lida mu. Nga nangi mmanyi. Nisaba, ishitongo lechi nungu, uchiba chisoboka. Tuyambe chikuongele nisomeju, jivewa nuku vantu hawa tono, ikindeda nuku kubiyaro. So wala nti chikazi wa muku hawa nti wafune information na nape nga utujifuni. The right of access to information is a fundamental human right recognized by key international instruments. Without access to information, people can never better their lives. <laughs>